All right, guys, here it is, the NECA Aliens figures, the long-awaited NECA Aliens figures that we were supposed to get back in April, I think. What's up, guys? This is Seha Man back with another figure review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Aliens. This is Private William Hudson. Uh, this is the first Hudson figure that we got. Now, I saw some people on Facebook, and actually one of the original ones I had purchased, um, the eyes were cross-eyed. I ended up going back and getting another one. This one you can see here, it's still a little cross-eyed, but not as bad as it was. But we finally got a uh, Hudson. I believe we are getting, we're getting two more human figures uh, as far as Hudson and um, a Hicks go. We're getting like variants. And I think they're gonna be coming in two packs. And then we're getting another Marine. I'm just not sure who it's gonna be. I saw them do like a sculpt or something on Facebook. Um, packaging, same clamshell neck of packaging that we all know. On the side, we got some pictures there of Hudson. You can see that right there. Man, I love the Aliens movie. Aliens, uh, Alien 1 I loved, but I think the, the second one was my favorite. Just an awesome movie. And Hudson was a, he was a, he was a cool character in the, in, the, in the film. There's a little picture of the character there. On the back we got a picture of Hudson and we got a nice picture of the alien right behind him. Right there are the other figures from the series. The new alien with articulation. Hicks, Hudson. Little read up right there. If you guys want to read that, feel free to pause and do just that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take Hudson outside of the package. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here we go. Here we have Hudson outside of the packaging. This is a pretty nice looking figure. As far as the outfit goes and the accessories that he does come with, he does come with a lot of really cool stuff. The head sculpt's the only problem that I have, but we'll get into that in a uh, quick second. But overall, this is a very nicely this is a very nice uh, uh, figure, it's well done. And again, it comes with some, with some really cool accessories. But let's go ahead and take a closer detailed look at Hudson. Okay, here we go. So first things first, like always, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. So he does have his pulse rifle seen right here, which he does hold very well. Whoops, you can see right there, this is the pulse rifle, it's got its strap. I don't remember being it this color though. I could be mistaken, I haven't seen the, the movie in a few months. But there's the pulse rifle there. It looks like some of the paint from his hand got on the, the handle. But it looks pretty good. It's got some nice detail. I think it's got some writing on there. Let's zoom in. No, I think it's just paint. But um, very nicely done. So there's the rifle he comes with. He comes with the tracker. Goes over his shoulder there. It's got the uh, strap. Very nice. You can see the buckles and everything. So it's pretty cool. Here's the... I think it's called a tracker, I could be mistaken, but there's some buttons right there. And then there's, whoa, and there's the, uh, where he's reading, you know, you can obviously see what's surrounding them. That red, that red dot is the person that's holding it. And then all those other dots around there, like aliens or, or, you know, other, other people or whatever, other life forms. But this is the tracker, so this is really cool to have. This is really, really nice. So it does come with this as well. And lastly, he comes with his uh, light pack, which you just plug into his back. He's got a peg there, and he's got a peg hole there in the back of his um, suit. And I'm thinking this plugs in here because you just peg this in, and then he's got this cord sticking out here. I'm not sure where this goes, but I'm, it might go back here. I don't know. That could be right. But he does have that, and uh, you can see it right here. It's pretty nicely detailed. There's a light. You know what would be cool if NECA made some of these things actually light up, uh, especially with the Predator. But so he does got this right here. There's no articulation or anything, so he does have his light pack, which is cool. It's pretty movie accurate. Now let's look at Hudson. First off, let's look at the messed up <laughs> head sculpt. I mean, look at that. Look at that head sculpt. I mean, it, it somewhat looks like Bill Paxton in, in a way. But I think the eyes kind of just mess up the the look of the figure. They kind of going one of them is kind of going inwards. But the one I had originally, they were both were really bad. Uh, Cross-eyed uh, hair looks pretty good. Facial expression, uh, spray, eh, facial expression looks pretty good. The wrinkles and stuff, um, the the skin tone looks really nice. 
uh, the armor or his uh, bulletproof vest, whatever you want to call it. It's got all the writing on there. It's got the skull. It says glory with a knife on it. Some other writing. It says Hudson right there. On the back, he had some other writing on there too. Dispose of prop, uh, prop. Properly dispose of properly contents under pressure the the fatigue coloring on the armor looks really good as well He's got some more, you know a little stuff on his uh, sleeve there on the shirt. I Really love the way the the uh, the, the camo uh, uh, Paint came out looks like he's got some stuff here He's got another separate piece here with uh, like some straps and a Little pouch There's the buckle right there looks pretty good He's got this little device here, not sure what that is. A bunch of little things going on here. He's got the straps here to the um, the vest. He's got some more little gadgets right here. This this I think this is what they use to, to seal the doors, this little device right here. This looks like that's what it is. It could be that. Another pouch right here in the back, another one here. And uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, the armor itself, or whatever you want to call it, the vest, seems to be a separate piece. I'm not even going to try to take it off, but it looks like it probably could be removable, and it looks like he does have a camouflage shirt underneath, a full camouflage shirt, but I'm not even going to risk taking this um, taking this off. But it looks really good with all the, uh, the buckles and everything and all the little gadgets that he has attached to him, and there's the shoulder pads right there, which is really cool. Again, the skin tone uh, looks pretty good. He's, it's even movie accurate. It's got he's got the bandage around his wrist where the acid um, from the alien fell on him. He's got another one there. The pants are very well painted as well. He got some cargo pants. He's got the uh, the boots with the knee pads, and again you can see all the buckles and stuff. Really, 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 really nicely detailed. Uh, the boots are nice as well. Is the bottom of them. So overall, this is a very, very nice looking figure. Um, the only problem I have is that I can't get his right arm to bend properly so if I want to have him hold his gun in a certain pose something's I gotta mess with the the right arm but I'm having trouble with it bending now as far as articulation goes for this guy oh there's a US flag right there as well um, so the head can go up and down pretty good rotate side to side can tilt it arms go in and out forward and back it's got to bend at the bicep rotation in the arm uh, rotation in the lower arm the wrist goes in and out also rotates so to watch on. Also, um, before I get back in the articulation here, I'm going to go off topic. The hands are dirty and the arms are dirty, so that's pretty cool. I'm guessing, you know, that's supposed to be part of it. But the figure, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but he is a little dirty in the arms. Okay, going back to articulation. He does got a bit of an ab crunch, which is cool because the, the vest doesn't hinder it. It's a soft plastic. Um, rotation at the waist. Legs go in and out. I didn't make this part out down here. The heck is this? Looks like he's wearing a cup. I didn't see this. I didn't even notice this lower part of the of the uh, vest. That's pretty cool. So legs go in and out, forward and back, bend. At the, oh, he's got double jointed knees. That's pretty cool. Uh, rotation in the leg. The foot can go up and down. Can rotate. You can also tilt it. He has toe articulation. Goes up. He's got some really good foot articulation. You can, looks like you can get these guys in some good poses. So these guys are pretty articulated. And the double double jointed knees. I don't think. I've seen a NECA figure with that, at least any that I own. But this is a very nice looking figure. He's just got a lot going on with his outfit. I mean, he's got eyes. He's got a bunch of little designs on this, and it just looks really cool. They did a great job. Just the only problem I have with this is the, the not so much the head sculpt, but maybe just the eyes. I don't like the eyes too much. But this is a great figure. You get some really cool accessories. Again, you get the tracker. Um, you get a little light pack that just you know plugs into the, the back of the figure. It's a little difficult, but you got to push it in. And then, of course, the pulse rifle. And uh, we're going to be getting variants to, uh, not variants, but other versions of um, Hicks and Hudson. So, all right, guys, this is Seha Man. Hope you enjoyed this review. Today, we're looking at Aliens by NECA. This is Hudson. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the rest of the figures.